Hey everybody, Ian Campbell here with another video and today we are going to be discussing my top 5 waves to bodyboard in the world. Today I just wanted to run through five different places in the world that I really love to bodyboard. Now these five places I want to explain exactly where they are and why I love to ride there so much. A lot of the reasons the people there are so good and uh, just riding as a professional bodyboarder and someone who really loves to bodyboard, these guys get super amped up around the world and majority of the time you actually end up having a really good time with these people. We are going to look at five different spots around the world that I have really fallen in love with and in no particular order, let's get started. So the first spot I want to talk about and one that's really close to my heart and that is Caves right here in the Strand. Now Caves is a very different setup to a lot of the waves that I surf around the world but it's also super close to my house. It takes me about 25 minutes to get there and it is a right-handed wedge that is a lot more difficult to ride than what it looks. It is really fast in sections and it's got kind of a different warp on it and I just love the challenge that I get every time I surf there. It is a sand bottom so there's a lot of shift in the sand so from winter all the way through to summer there's a change of about five or six meters of sand that gets filled back in there and that makes it super exciting to go surf all the time. Next I want to talk about probably my favorite spot to surf in the world and that's Pipeline. Pipeline is known for its heavy waves and some huge Pacific swells that come across the ocean and detonate onto that reef. Now the reason why I really love Pipeline, it is a very high intensity wave. There is a lot going on, there's always people paddling around, people moving and when it gets bigger and better it is just perfect. It's beautiful to watch and I just love being there. Spending a lot of time in Hawaii has really sucked me into the culture and I just love going back there. There's a good energy on those islands and that keeps me wanting to go back and keeps me wanting to get more. The next place I want to bring up is Chile and specifically Arica. Now Arica is an amazing reef break. It is very well known in the bodyboarding community as one of those reef breaks 
that is very scary but at the same time very rewarding. We've watched many many guys go through there and absolutely shred this wave apart. I for one have been lucky enough to win an event there and this also really puts this spot on the top of my list. It is one of those places that is really close to the rocks. It is extremely shallow and it just yields some of the most amazing waves. It is one of those waves that is very unforgiving but if you get it right and if you time it right it is absolutely mind-blowing what you can do on a bodyboard out there. So that is another one of my top five waves. Another one of those waves that I really enjoy riding is Famous Last Words up the west coast. Now this is a little bit further up the west coast, probably about two to three hours from where I live and it is one of those waves that if you get it right and if you're with the right crew it is just an absolutely amazing time. I've had a session there last year that really just blew my mind and just changed everything that I knew about uh, the spot and it's probably the best day that I've spent up there. I got to share it with a lot of good friends and this just puts that into that category of one of those waves that just sucks me in and I really just want to get back up there as soon as possible. So the famous last words up the west coast would definitely be in my top five. But not least is Nazaré in Portugal. So Nazaré is another sand bottom spot that I have fallen in love with because of the amount of time we spent in the water there last year. I was there on a trip with Tristan last year and it just opened my eyes to how amazing this spot is. The local guys are absolute legends. They really really uh, look after us and we just had such an awesome trip there. So spending three or four weeks in this spot and getting to ride it really big and getting to ride it really small and just seeing how diverse it is and uh, getting to surf this wave when it was probably as big as you can surf it and then we surfed it as small as you could surf it and both times we just had so much fun and there was just so much good energy in the water. So Nazare is definitely another one on my list. Yes, it is a heavy wave. Yes, it gets massive out the back and it's, it's a big wave surf spot. But there's an inside corner and there's bowls everywhere and it is just so good for bodyboarding. And if you guys are amped on getting waves that are just super fun and probably the biggest ramps you might ever see in a beach break, head on over to Pride to North and Nazare for some absolutely mind-blowing surf.
So just to end it off guys, uh, I would like to thank everyone for giving me some ideas for videos. I have asked both in my community page on this YouTube channel as well as on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me, please go ahead and follow me and there is a lot more content on there. But I just want to thank you guys for being involved and sharing your opinions on what you want to see on this channel. Uh, it's a really tough time for us at the moment. Uh, I have been out of the water for 40 days now. In saying that, you know, there's a lot of people that are way worse off than me, but I'm just really fortunate that I am able to have some good sponsors that have stayed on board even through this tough period. And just a huge shout out to the bodyboarding community for uh, keeping me around and just, I'm just so lucky to have this opportunity to talk to you guys and just give you guys a little bit of my thoughts. So a huge shout out to all of you. Please click the subscribe button if you have not already and hit that notification bell as well as give this video a like and that really helps my YouTube grow. Uh, I'd like to thank all you guys for all your support and especially in this desperate time where we are really struggling. So. I hope all of you guys are staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy, staying fit, and we'll see you all in the next video.